I competed in a VR chat dogfighting tournament. Going from literal zero knowledge about planes to spending nearly seven hours a day learning and training to be a virtual fighter pilot and showdown with players from all over the world. What I thought was going to be a funny video challenge ended up reshaping how I view and use social VR as a whole and, well, this rabbit hole goes a lot deeper than you'd think. I pushed my body and mind to the absolute max to explore the untold passion the aviation community has just for this video. So sit down, buckle up, and get ready for what might just be my most complex virtual adventure yet. Welcome to the Black Aces. Before we get started, I wanted to give a huge shout out to this video sponsor, Opera GX. As a chronically online VR user, there is no better browser I can recommend than Opera. I use the web in totally different ways depending on if I'm working, streaming, playing VR, or casually browsing the web, which is why the GX Profiles option is a huge benefit to focus on what's really important at that time. Set up profile options for streamer privacy, potato moding, clearing history upon close, or customizing for as clean and little distractions as possible, which is great for classes and working without distractions. VR is taxing on PCs, and busy tabs often drain resources that you could be using. The Hot Tabs Killer feature allows you to identify and close these out for overall smoother performance. If you use Apple Music, YouTube Music, or Spotify like me, the GX player keeps them all in one place while automatically pausing and resuming for videos and audio such as YouTube. I use this all the time. On the mobile app, I use the Continue Watching on Mobile button to continue exactly where I left off with the Video Pickup feature by just scanning a QR code with my phone off my PC. Video pickup can also turn your device into a companion screen, which again is a really useful thing lacking in other browsers. Setting up Opera is super easy. Just download the link in the description and import your history, bookmarks, extensions, and cookies in seconds to get started immediately. Definitely check it out. But without further ado, let's start this video. Today is day one of flight training. One of the biggest things that we're going to be testing today is to see if I actually get motion sick or not, because obviously competing in a tournament and getting motion sick the entire time would not exactly be the most ideal. It is time to go join and start the training. Uh, my name is Rico. I'm the owner of the Black Aces. We are a virtual flight community. We're the hub of all VR chat aviation. We're going to start training FIA on how to dogfight and hopefully compete in the tournament and get a win. Well, this is the F-18 Block 3 Super Hornet, and we're gonna using this one mainly because it's very easy to fly, and we're gonna see like basic maneuvers, so like rolling, pitching, if you get motion sick. If you do, I'll stop the whole flight. If you're fine, then we'll see how you feel in a dogfight situations. Whoa. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my God. <laughs> This is ridiculous. It feels like I actually had a flight take off. What VR chat planes kind of bring is like the ability to socialize, but also enjoy aviation and for what it is. For a role is this. Oh, wow. My vision just went black. No, I ah! Did I pass out? Yeah, that's called G-force. So what that does is that pushes your blood flow down, which causes people to pass out. Pitch the stick downwards, so the plane kind of goes this. Oh, my God. You see that oh red? yeah, now it's all it's red. Out. Holy cow! Dude. This is crazy, even just the sounds. Wait, what are the sirens? What are the beeps? <laughs> so we're getting to really slow air speeds so that it's pretty much telling the aircraft like you're way too slow. That was so intense. Oh, razor, I did not like, expect to that away. to be so like insane. Yeah, I'm glad I haven't gotten nauseous at all. So no like real motion sickness, um, but it is, I do feel very dizzy. It is crazy how realistic it feels. What is next on the agenda then? Probably the basis of terminology. So like, we'll go outside and I'll show you. Uh, for now, you remember your speed. So this is your airspeed. That's measured in knots. This is your throttle input. When it goes yellow, there's a thing that these jets have called aftermer, where the funny fire sticks out of the plane. So I'm about to fly the plane for the very first time. I expect to crash probably more than once. There is a lot of terminology and a lot of things to know. It is time to get started. All right, let's go. Okay, ah! ah, okay, I'm already going too fast. <laughs> okay, <laughs> how am I doing? Is this <laughs> a happy passenger? <laughs> it's fine. 
Uh, you see, so right where I said your notch, the magic speed for landing, I would say is around 200 for most people who are learning. Okay. Make sure your gears are down. Make sure your gears are down. Make sure oh, your gears are okay. down. Okay. Gear gears. down. Gear ah. down. <laughs> there you go. We're going. We're going to do it. Woo! There you go. Wow. <laughs> Yay! I did my first flight and I didn't crash. Yay! I feel so proud of myself. So I just finished my first day of flying, which actually went pretty well, but I can't get too excited because all I did was take off and land, which tomorrow Rico is going to be introducing me to the actual dogfighting part, which is where things are going to get a little more serious. So I'm gonna get a good night's rest and see what happens tomorrow. We'll try to see, should we just like throw her straight into a dogfight and see where she stands and like mm. ability to kill people. Yeah, let's see where my ability to kill people is. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, okay, so so the so the, the end goal, this is mm -hmm. like hopefully the goal of the whole training is to at least kill Razor once when he's trying. Like okay. That's the, that's the end goal. Yeah, no, watch no, out, no, Razor. Like, watch out. You might, you might crash and die. So we'll focus yeah. on we'll do basics. merging at 320 knots, okay. turning at the right time, and then one last thing, one third thing, lift vector placement. Sounds complicated? It's really not. Well, actually, yes, instead of Razor, you suck at dog fighting. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, those are good. All right, here we go. Okay. All right, good? throttle. He's fast. Throttle forward, throttle forward, turn, turn. turn, turn. Right. As soon as you pass him, you should turn already. Watch forward. your throttle, watch your throttle. Why do you throttle down? Why do you throttle down? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to He's figure out where he is. Rudder <gasps> right, rudder right. Oh man, I'm throwing turns again. Okay, oh, hold on. He's on his body, he's <laughs> doing right. I'm out of ammo. You're out of ammo. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Uh, those are other dudes, those are other dudes. Those are other dudes. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well. Oh, watch the watch the Oh my god, this is so fun. Okay, okay. well now he's... Oh, he's behind us again. He's batting at us again. Oh, God. Oh. No! That is so hard. Um, okay, so dumping the nose is the nose of the aircraft. So when you are stalling so that, you have a aspect left. BFM, mm -hmm. when you which pull it with a turn, of course, the plane is the same. Turn, 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 so there's seven days until the tournament and I totally underestimated the amount of knowledge that I would have to know to even just fly one of these things. But the people spending hours a day flying these planes are also the same ones who are taking the time to program them. The BFM goes way deeper than I ever would have expected. So if I want to catch up and not make a total fool out of myself for this tournament, I'm going to have to start eating, sleeping, and breathing BFM until I can get it down. We just announced uh, this month's tournament, which will be competing in the Joss 39 in Gripen. Uh, from here on out, Fia is going to be learning how to dogfight and train consistently in the Gripen so she can get ready for this tournament. Sheesh, this plane is beautiful. I love this jet. Holy shit. What the hell is Fox 3? So I'm starting to really familiarize myself with the new plane quite a bit, but we're also going to designate some of the day to meeting other people in the community who've been working on some really, really big projects outside of just dogfighting so I can get the broader picture of VR aviation and just some of the other things that happen inside of Black Aces. Wait, so an original design, like you just straight up made up like your own plane idea? Yeah, all the planes here are original. Kind of a mixture between a few of my favorite planes. What's really special about VR chat compared to other simulators or VR games is that it really gives these people an outlet to create whatever they want and share it with others. Oh, there's a helicopter in here around. too. The, all uh, of these yeah. planes, all of these planes are publicly available. I didn't really realize how deep all this plane creation goes with programming systems from scratch and then implementing original designs that no one would obviously have the resources to create in physical life. This was designed by a friend of mine that is studying aeronautical engineering. Um, this is a project that he had a long time ago. I was learning Blender as I was modeling it. And this all's really proved the crazy bond that all of them have with each other based off of their love for aviation. Why is it blue? This was supposed to be a memorial for someone who was like, 
very uh, prominent in the aviation community, like at the very early start of it, mm. and they uh, passed away. I think there's something special about the presence of flying alongside other people who literally live across the planet and feeling like they're really there. Yeah, I really didn't think that I'd end up liking all of this so much. The game was never meant to do this, baby. but uh, here we are. <laughs> But I still have a lot of training to do besides all the exploring, so here we go. about it there's there's more people who don't show up oh yeah raise your fear mm -hmm. raise your fear dog fight dog fight, dog fight, dog fight. yeah <laughs> hopefully the goal of the whole training is to at least kill razor once when he's trying at least kill razor once when he's trying at least kill razor once when he's trying all right let's go right. razor come on let's go razor i'm really nervous it's okay to be nervous Trust me, you're gonna of... feel the you're gonna feel the same way once you get into the tournament. <laughs> I was like that when I first did mine. Yeah, I'm extremely nervous. I'm like, I really don't want to like make a complete fool out of myself. Oh, jeez, wow, you're crazy good, Jesus. Not bad. Ooh. Oh God. Ah. <laughs> this is insane, what the hell? <laughs> oh, I'm shaking really so bad. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Do yeah, that you crazy. guys think so? <gasps> Thank I'm you so much, game. guys, for being yeah. here and helping me. Wow, I had so much fun practicing against so many different people. I think this was really necessary. We just finished up training for the final day of training. Tomorrow is the big tournament. I'm not really sure what's going to happen. I'm pretty nervous. I put in hours and hours every single day practicing, and I thought it was just going to be kind of a silly, fun way to challenge myself. But I think because of VR chat and the Black Aces aviation community, I've found a new appreciation for a side of VR chat that I didn't really know existed, or at least not the full extent of it. I think at the end of the day, I've learned a lot, and I'm really proud of myself for that. Everybody has been so kind and so supportive. No matter what happens, I'm going to have a bunch of fun and hang out with all the people I've met. And and have support from Thrill. Um, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So I'm crossing fingers, wish you for the best. <laughs> So it is just a few minutes before we hop into the instance for the tournament. I think I'll do okay, but even if I do really terribly and I flop, I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun, I guess. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I think I've seen you before. Like, why would you be competing in the tournament? Why not? I said decent uh, answer. So, tournament rules. Uh, what the oh, staff say is final. The oh, first right. match you lose puts you in the loser's bracket. Losing again eliminates you from the tournament. Uh, first up is Kitsune Suki and Dion621. We're going for a no afterburner takeoff, saving that fuel. Oh. <laughs> okay, what? Well, 
Oh, now it's his turn, so I can now closing the distance. Strike and doing the right thing, maintaining position, maintaining good distance and speed. Oh, God. Still doing okay on fuel. <gasps> Ooh. Whoa. There, crowd here is pretty rough, not gonna lie. Uh, Fia and 8 bit. Fia, we're blue, 8 bit, we're. Alright, this is it. This is it. Well, She's been what practicing a lot. Is I mean, about, like, what we gonna My have? heart is pounding like freaking crazy. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot to turn nameplates back on. Fuck! I can barely see them! Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Ah, uh, we just shoot here. Yes! Oh, oh my God! Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, I had the name plates oh, off like a idiot. Good job, <laughs> Oh, real life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Alright, second match. Don't mess up. Merge. Oh god, this is already harder. I don't know if I can do my turn circle. They're so far away! Oh. Well, that was that. You won the match, pilot. Return to base. Uh, he, he did the kill me reversal. Yep. When he was really far away. You were a worthy Con Chan opponent, if I do say ah, so myself. My Good game. There goes the end of oh, my pilot high. career. Ah, oh, come here. Nice oh. I was in and well, that's that. I still got to fight one more round in the loser's bracket, but I didn't make it past. Oh, Although it no. was a crazy match. This tournament was technically just the qualifiers, and across five blocks, there was just short of 120 total people who signed up. For only having a little more than a week to train, I actually feel really proud of myself for even being able to get one win. Watching the rest of these competitors really showed me how crazy these fights can get, and how dedicated these people are to pushing the limits of what VR chat and social VR is actually capable of. The finalists trained super hard, some of them studying and playing fight sims for years and still putting in hours a day training to truly earn their wins in this dogfighting tournament. I didn't expect to fly planes again after making this video, but along the way I've actually found a new hobby that I recommend everyone to at least check out once, even if you don't take it quite as seriously as I did. But anyways, if you enjoyed coming along this journey with me and want to be a part of future videos, then make sure to subscribe and like this video. This month at the TVRS Studio in VR Chat, we're gonna be holding a celebrity interview night with some of the most well-known VR Chat creators that you actually might recognize. So join the Discord and come join us there. Also, making videos like these takes a lot of time. And so if you wanna help support me being able to actually do things like this, then please consider joining my Patreon to help out. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I've been your host, Fia, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Special thanks to this month's Patreon members. And virtual VIPs? Black Amethyst, Dutchman101, GS Genesis, Jean Felix Monin, Kaimis, Kaze Ryu, MJR117, NNN, Neoplasm, Nasarate, Nayer, Rai, 6000333, Snake8Head, Cernith, Third Eye, Sali, and Yama Zakura.